I will show you how to create YouTube thumbnail in Photoshop. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Trust you're all doing well. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create quick and easy thumbnail, YouTube thumbnail in Photoshop. So let's get started. I have the picture I'll be using for my thumbnail here already. Then I'll go ahead and create the background for the Photoshop thumbnail. Okay, so I'll go to File, I'll go to New. Then I'll select the size that I want to use to create this thumbnail, which is 1280. I'll be using 1280 by 720. And I'll change the resolution to 300. I'll click Create. There I have my background. So the next thing I'll do is go back to my picture here and convert this to normal layer so I'll be able to move it. I'll just click on the key or the lock icon here. Then I'll be able to drag it into the other background. I'll just click on drag and drop. Okay, this is too big. So I'll zoom out and click on Command T to transform. So I'll be able to resize it to fit in with my background. I'll hold on my shift key so the picture doesn't lose form and I'll just scale it down. Let's zoom in and see what we have here. And this is looking good. I'm okay with this. Now I'll just go and click on my text tool or I click T on my keyboard. Now type YouTube. I'll click anywhere. Then I'll just click on the layer here. It's going to change it to whatever I type. I'll go ahead and add another text, which is thumbnail. Go ahead and click it. Then I'll go ahead and type Photoshop. Click on it. I'll go ahead and add another one, tutorial. And there we have all the text that I'll be using. So the next thing I want to do now is just resize my text. I'll go ahead and click on the YouTube. I'll go to my tabs here and click on characters. In case you don't see your character tab, you go to window and you just select it. Here. Then I'll click make sure the YouTube is active and I'll just go up here to where I have two T's, one big T and one small T. I'll just drag it down to the left to reduce the size. So this is looking good. I'll just place it there. I'll do the same for the rest as well. So I think I'm good with this text size and the position. So the next thing I want to do is apply um, some effects. To this text layers, I want to apply the same effect to the YouTube and thumbnail. Apply the same effect to the Photoshop and tutorial. So I'll go ahead and group the thumbnail and the YouTube together. Hold the command and click both layers and click command or control G. I'll do the same for the Photoshop and tutorial. Okay, so I'll just name this one YouTube. This one for the shop. Okay, so I'll go ahead and apply same effect like I said. I'll double click on the layer to bring out the layer style. I want to have like a stroke to this. I'll just reduce the size of the stroke a bit. I think that's good. Uh, let me see other thing I can add to it. This is looking change the color to white. Reduce the size. Okay, I think this is looking good. I'll click on OK. 
if I want to add more effect I'll do the same go back and double click on it so you can just play around with the stuff there and see what you like and if you want to add some gradients you can you can do that so I think I'm okay with that and I'll do the same for the Photoshop layer double click on it and hard outer glow and hard stroke so it make it bold then I can add um, a gradient to this just make it look colorful So I think this is looking good. Then I just want to put some spacing to this thumbnail here. Yeah, it's too tight. So I'll go down to the group and click on the thumbnail here. Yeah, and just go to this VA here yeah, that has an arrow underneath and just drag it to add some space to it. And use my arrow keys to move it up down from right left okay so I think this is looking good so the next thing I want to do is um, I want to blow out the background of this picture I'll add my text layers and go to my layer here model layer I already made this model layer so I'll go to my object selection tool and just draw like a square on the subject or the model so photoshop will select the subject out for me then i'll click command or ctrl j to have the model on the screen like that so i'll go ahead and convert this to a small object because i want to have like a, a blur effect to it so i'll make it active go to filter go to blur and add version blur to it that's to the background Okay. so you can add any amount of blur that you like okay. this is okay so I'll go back and activate the text all right this is looking good so I want to add an outline as well to the model I'll go ahead and double click on the layer add outer glue to the model you can increase the size if you want and you can just make it tiny i think this is not bad this is looking good and i'll click ok all right i also want to add that white outer line to the photoshop i'll go to the photoshop <laughs> double click on it again and have the outer glow so we can have that outer white glow okay so i think this is looking good the next thing i want to do is just add the youtube logo and the photoshop logo and you can just get that from google search for youtube logo anyone you like because you can anyone Just pick any one. I think I'll just pick this one and I'll just drag it into the section. Just like that. You can create your own if you want. But I think this is okay for me. You can resize it by clicking Command T. Make it bigger. Make it smaller. Anyhow you want it. So I'll just leave it like this and then maybe I want to add a Photoshop logo as well to this side and just look for any logo and just drag it into Photoshop so 
you have this logo here and you want to reduce the size click on man t and just hold your shift on. if you don't hold shift you just have something like this okay but if you hold on your shift everything is going to be good so i'll just put this one here and let's see what will be good and i think it's okay on this side so the next thing i want to do is i want to remove the white edges here that we have here so i'll go and make sure the layer is active i'll now change the blending mode to darken click okay, here and the white is gone and this is it this is the youtube thumbnail and you can export it like this and if you want to apply the same effects we apply to the photoshop logo to the youtube logo you can do that as well to remove this white area here just make sure the layer is active go to the blending mode and just see the one that you like and i think this is okay so here we have it the youtube logo just like the photoshop logo and that's it that's the youtube thumbnail i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do and you want to see more tutorials like this then make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video bye for now